Hello everyone, this is Brandon here with GDNT Basics video question line. Today's topic is going to be position versus symmetry. The question we have today came from Alex and Alex wrote, is there a best practice way to use position instead of symmetry to control two planar surfaces situated on the sides of a round shaft by using the round section's axis as a datum? Since position for planar feature controls the midplane of those features, is the tolerance zone still two planes parallel to that midplane, or is it cylindrical since the datum is the long axis of the part? So we're going to first go over a couple definitions here, one for uh, position, another one for symmetry. And I have a little sample drawing on there that illustrates um, exactly what Alex is questioning about. The, the best practice way to use position uh, to control two planar surfaces uh, is, is simply by using position. It, it will be position of a midplane. Um, even though the datum is an axis, um, the tolerance zone, because it is uh, position on a uh, midplane, is stu still two parallel planes. So just because the datum feature itself is an axis, that doesn't change anything about what the tolerance zone is going to look like. So real quick, let's move to the next slide and let's take a look at these two definitions here first. Okay, so on this slide we have uh, up here in the top left hand corner, we've got uh, position up here. And this states position controls the straight center plane or mid plane of the actual mating envelope. So as long as surface form is within the size limit by rule number one uh, for your part, it's in spec. So down here looking at the 187 to 182 just simply means as long as we're within that size um, it will be controlling form as well or flatness and then looking over at symmetry uh, because Alex did bring up the point of symmetry versus position or vice versa uh, symmetry controls the median points of surface elements so the magnitude of the form is not controlled. However, the form or mass distribution on your surface needs to be even to be in specification. And I'm exaggerate this like crazy, but this is the feature that's, that Alex is questioning here and how to locate this, what's the best uh, control for this back to the datum. And I would call this like a wrench flat, but we have this surface, this surface here. Now what they mean there for symmetry is, and, not, and this is going to be gross, but if this surface were to come out like this, well down here the surface needs to come out like this. So whatever you get, um, whatever kind of error you get up on the top surface, you're, you're going to want to try to replicate that as much as you can on the bottom. So then as they take, as they show up here, as they take all these points and you've got your your tolerance which is tolerance zone which is two parallel planes in here that if this surface was out and the surface was out here we could probe here and here and we would get a point right in the middle we could probe here and here get a point right in the middle and out here and there get a point right in the middle so a lot of engineers don't like to use symmetry just because it encourages that that same error on the opposite side which you know, it could probably come out a little bit and this one be perfect and it still work or maybe this one's going to go slightly up here. That would be opposite of symmetry. Um, and, and again, this is exaggerated, but uh, possibly the part could still work there. Well, now we're talking about mid planes, which is what position does. Um, so even though the datum, Alex, you'd asked here about the datum being an axis. So in this example that I've drawn up here, um, we see we got the size and the datum symbol here for A. So we are talking about this axis right here being the datum or the datum feature. And then down here we've got the position call out four thousandths back to A and B. So in our datum reference frame, A is first. Oops, put that axis back in there. So A is first first, which is an axis, and then B is up here, which uh, has a qualifier on it, perpendicularity back to A within five thousandths. So on this flat face here, we're going to have a datum plane here. Okay, so then looking at the datum reference frame, and then um, at this point, um, 
if, if you have been through um, qualifying the datums, locking down the six degrees of freedom, all of that, um, A is a datum axis. So this axis, it's a, a cylindrical tolerance zone, but the axis itself, it's going to be locking down four degrees of translation. Um, and that's going to be, it's going to be two translations and uh, two rotations. So it's going to lock those, those four down. And looking at B here, B is going to stop a translation, which would be the, you know, going down the length of the axis or in this direction here, call it X. So it will stop that translation, but what B cannot do is stop the rotation uh, around the axis this way. So B can't do that. Well, we don't have any other features on here other than this wrench flat um, that has any kind of timing to it. Nothing will be referenced back to these to the wrench flats. Nothing needs to be. So we don't need to lock down the six degrees of freedom. So this is a full DRF here. Uh, the print's not fully dimensioned. There's some dimensions missing on there. Uh, but the DRF does serve to lock down all the degrees of freedom that we would need in order to take this inspection. So looking at the inspection for this with it being a uh, position of four thousands, we would have a plane up here and another plane here. The distance between these two is this, four thousands, or two thousands down and Y, two thousands up and X, but they're perfectly parallel to each other. They are perfectly parallel to the datum axis. Um, and the datum axis uh, remember that's right in the center here is the datum axis well we have these two planes that are passing through here three dimensional uh, two parallel planes two thousandths uh, each away from the datum axis four thousandths total and now when we go into um, probe on this surface and this surface in order to establish that mid plane and find its location we can probe anywhere along the flat surfaces remember that the extent of it is only from here to here for each one of those so we don't we want to make sure we don't get anything uh, anything up here on this shoulder up here and we're going to extract that mid plane from it and it's going to see whether or not it's within the, t the state of tolerance so so this is absolutely how we would want to do this Alex uh, back to your question uh, we wouldn't want to use symmetry on this uh, unless somebody could give us a really good reason really good justification if any of you guys have been looking through the 2018 standard, they've taken symmetry out. So this is a very good time. If you watch this video and you do use symmetry, you might want to uh, consider um, stopping that. Um, unless you do have good justification, but there's a there's uh, in the 2009 standard when you get into symmetry uh, in there and in our course, we talk about why to get away from symmetry and why it's probably not the best control. Position can probably do it better. And in almost every case we've ever seen, not all, but most cases, uh, position is the one to go to. Okay, guys, that's going to wrap it up for today for this one. Um, if you have any questions at all, questions at gdntbasics.com. Send them our way and we will get them answered. Thank you for watching today.